Space which appears completely black and silent. In fact, there is so much happening that we can neither hear nor understand. NASA's probes have recorded some such strange sounds in space that every person's mind is stunned after hearing them. About 44 years ago, on 5 September 1977, NASA had sent a space probe to interstellar space. This space probe is known as Voyager 1, which has been in continuous contact with NASA's base station for the last 44 years. Voyager 1 was sent on a mission from which there is no hope of returning. This space probe is traveling in deep space at a speed of 61,500 kilometers slash error, and at this time it is floating far away from us in the darkness of space and is sending us information about our solar system and this universe and this part of space. This space is also known as interstellar space. One day, as soon as it entered interstellar space in 2012, a NASA scientist received a signal from Voyager 1 that gave everyone goosebumps. When that signal was decoded, it contained a strange sound that was recorded by Voyager 1. What was that thing in the depths of space, millions of kilometers away from our world, whose sound had given scientists goosebumps? This sound was recorded about 1400 core kilometers away from the Earth, and it was a sound which was not showing any sign of ending or decreasing. Scientists waited for many days, but far from ending the sound, it was not even decreasing. Soon one year passed, then another year, and then after three years, there was some reduction in the intensity of this strange sound. This sound was the longest sound to be recorded in the 44-year history of Voyager 1, which gave scientists sleepless nights. But apart from this sound, there was another thing that was continuously troubling the scientists. Yes, after three years, Voyager 1 had moved 160 core kilometers away from the point where it had recorded the sound for the first time. But still this voice remained the same. 160 core kilometers, meaning this distance is equal to 4,000 complete orbits from the Earth to the Moon. Where was the sound that spread over such a long distance in space coming from? This thing had baffled many big researchers and scientists. One thing was confirmed that there is definitely some force hidden outside our solar system which is causing this sound. But there is no sound in space. So how was it recorded? It is a fact that while going into space, no sound of any kind reaches the ears. What if an explosion occurs right next to the astronauts during a spacewalk? The explosion will be visible, but its sound will not reach the ears. Sound requires air and atmosphere to reach our ears, both of which are not present in space. For this reason, no sound of any kind can travel in space. Sound waves cannot travel in space, but electromagnetic waves can travel very easily in space. Of course, our ears cannot hear these waves, but Voyager 1 recorded these waves and sent them to Earth, so that we can decode them and listen. This was the unique sound that Voyager 1 sent from interstellar space. Some scientists say that this sound might have come from plasma waves traveling in space, whereas some researchers say that there are definitely some forces present in deep space, due to whose energy this sound is produced. We humans do not yet have the ability to think, understand, and know what those powers are and why their energy releases sound. Voyager 1 captures these waves with its antenna and converts them into radio signals and then transmits them towards Earth. Although this message travels at the speed of light, it still takes 21 hours to reach NASA's antenna on Earth. This wasn't the first time Voyager 1 sent us a unique sound. Even before this, NASA has been successful in recording many unique sounds from space. Even in 2007, an incident took place which surprised the institutions. Researchers found some signals in space which were not normal in any way. In the silence, some sounds started coming, which disappeared within half a second. Hearing these sounds, it seemed as if perhaps an alien warship was trying to attack Voyager with a laser beam. These recorded sounds, which are called fast radio burst, were something like this. Hearing this voice, one thing was confirmed to the institutions that the more we try to know about deep space, 
the more we will get entangled in questions. Researchers believe that this radio buzz could be the result of a supernova explosion in a black hole or millions of light years away. Many researchers also believe that aliens in other planets are much more advanced than us, and they charge their spaceships through these radio bursts. Perhaps some of these radio rings collided with our space probe or simply passed by it. But no one knows the real truth of this strange sound yet. These are the sounds that NASA recorded from interstellar space, but there is no need to go so far to record such strange sounds. NASA has also recorded many unique and scary sounds from our own solar system. Voyager 2, which was launched by NASA to research the planets of our solar system, has also recorded many such sounds which have put the whole world in trouble. This is Jupiter's moon, which is known as Ganymede, and this is its sound, which is really going to give you goosebumps. Most institutions believe that this sound is of electromagnetic waves, which create polar lights. Just as polar lights are visible in the sky in many parts of the Earth. Similarly, polar lights are also produced in Saturn, Jupiter, and Ganymede, and it is possible that the sound you just heard is the converted sound of polar lights produced in Jupiter's moon Ganymede. All the strange sounds that you have heard till now have been officially published by none other than NASA, and no editing has been done in them. Saturn, which is a planet of our solar system, has been recorded by NASA from where some strange sounds have been made. NASA believes that this sound has been sent by the Cassini spacecraft by converting radio waves emanating from Saturn, and this is also probably the result of the polar light present in Saturn. Voyager 1, which has been continuously sending us photos and information of outer space for the last 44 years. The sad thing is that we are going to lose him forever. NASA says that Voyager 1 has only enough power to remain in contact with us for the next one or two years. After that, we will be left with only these photos. If you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to like it. Share this video with your friends and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. Your support keeps us motivated to create more content like this. Thank you.